All right, what's good YouTube? It's John Mango here from Beyond the Iron. We're looking to take your fitness nutrition further so you may change your life forever. Now, I don't know if you recognize this guy, but you should recognize him. We got Vince Del Monte right here, brother. You say it properly, by the way. Oh yeah? Del Monte. Yeah, Del my, my haters don't know how to say my name. I'm like, all right, if you're gonna give me publicity, at least say my last name properly. Right, 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 so I get more attention. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> cool, man. So. Vince Del Monte, he's the man right here. Uh, we actually both met up here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida for a conference, a business conference, but we'll get into some of that later. We're gonna crush a workout together actually, right? Yeah, we should have lived first because I'm looking scrawny right now, six in the morning, <laughs> holy mackerel. Oh, brother, you came to the right channel because this is all about the guys looking scrawny. <laughs> Check it out, what, what are we hitting? Uh, let's do some uh, biceps, then some more biceps, then some triceps, some more triceps. Okay. Maybe some and forearms. Yeah. Maybe some shoulders. Okay. We're gonna. Any, anything here. Anything here. No toning zone allowed, though. No toning here. We're skinny boys, so we don't do the it's toning. All the arms. If you don't have the 16-inch arms, what's the point of going to the gym? Oh yeah, baby. I'm trying to get 16-inch arms for 12 years. <laughs> I think it, I think I got 16 inch arms on year 12. He knows the struggle. He knows the struggle. Some <laughs> of the guys like us that actually, actually had to build yeah. those arms. Yeah. You know? You agree with that? Oh yeah. Do you take uh, weight loss advice from an anorexic? No. You know what I mean? Do you take uh, money advice from someone who was uh, inherited a fortune? There you, you go. Wanna, again, can you learn something from them? Of course. But I always value learning from somebody who had to struggle, who has bad genetics. People see uh, some of my videos and they go. Vinny, why are you doing videos on how to build bigger arms? Uh, because I'm trying to figure out how to get bigger arms. And so are my people following me. And because I used to have 13 inch arms, and now we're up to 15 and a half inches, and we're getting to 16, I'm the guy you want to listen to. Yep, yep. You want to listen to the guy that's been struggling to build the arms, not the guy that doesn't know how he built 18 inch arms. That's inspirational, don't get me wrong. Yep. I'm not knocking that guy, but you got to have context. Clarity, sorry, context requires clarity, guys. Boom, right off the bat, we got a little motivation for you guys right there. If you want some guns, check out the videos on, check out Vince Del Monte's videos on building arms. There's we got a lot of good, good information. Okay. Because it's one thing to build your arms, it's another thing to smash up your wrists, your elbows, and your shoulders in the process. Right, right, right? I, I know what you're talking you know, about. I've never had an injury, and that's something I take pride in, right? I'm 38, I don't have any aches or pains in my body. Right, right? And right. to me, that's the message I'm promoting. Right? Could I go heavier in the gym? Yes, but then my shoulders start to hurt. I got two kids a third on the way. So you guys have to get dialed into your perfect goals for your perfect life. All right, You can't be comparing yourself to some dude that trains for three hours in the gym and then sleeps the rest of the day. Or who's sticking needles in his ass all day to artificially grow faster. Like context, context requires clarity. Say. Context yeah. requires clarity. You can't compare yourself to somebody unless you know everything they're doing. Right. And right. you likely don't. So it's not a fair thing to hold yourself back looking you know, at what someone else is doing if you got you don't have the full picture. Right. It's not aligned with what you what you want to even get out of your life. That's, that's good because people will see me eating like, you know, pizza at times or, or donuts here and there. But they don't realize that that's all they're seeing because that might be all I posted for the day, right, that day. Don't compare your behind the scenes with someone else's highlight reel. Uh, like I only post things here, like I might not even post this video if we're looking too small. Right, we could have got a lift for about, you know, an hour and a half, we could have taken the glycerol, you know, right. we could have had the uh, sweet potato fries last night, we could have yeah. died for three days and come in looking huge. And, you know, I mean, I wouldn't say it's manipulation, but again, we know what to do to enhance the viewership, right? All right, Vince, check it out. We're gonna dive into these questions. We're gonna put some footage of us uh, cranking a workout here at the same time. So, uh, just five simple questions. You know, Vince focuses mostly on the business aspect of things in terms of fitness. We're in the same industry, but uh, for you guys out there, I know what you wanna see, and we're looking to bring you content when it comes to getting to your fitness goals, fat loss, muscle gain, and all that stuff. We'll throw in a little business question at the end, too. First question we got is, uh, so what do you think is the biggest reason that's holding people back from achieving their fitness goals? Consistency. Consistency, 
All right, so just consistency. You try, you try one thing for a month and then you say it doesn't work. I tried keto for a month, it didn't work. I tried low carbs for a month, it didn't work. I went uh, high reps, it didn't work. You guys aren't giving anything enough time to work. The right. program's not failing you, you're failing the program. Right. You can't measure anything over a week, over a month. You gotta measure something over a year. Okay, yeah. So you would say it's also adherence, being able to adhere to that yeah. program over time. You gotta give it time, man. Yeah. You gotta, you know, you guys are bouncing. You guys have too many mentors. You're listening to too many people. Here's what you guys are doing. You're jumping out of the plane with three parachutes. Right, right, right. What's gonna happen if you jump out of a plane with three parachutes? You gotta pick one guy. You gotta pick your guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta pick your guy. You gotta pick your mentor. You gotta listen to your mentor. You gotta do what he says. You can't be jumping ship every day of the week. But so and so says this. So and so says this. You guys got to commit. All right. Once you commit, then you figure out the rest later. You commit, and then you get consistent, and then he helps you fight the day-to-day -day battles as you go, because that's what's gonna happen. You don't just pick a diet and then all of a sudden it works. You're gonna lose weight for the first two to three weeks on any diet, right? There's science to support that because it's just catabolomine increase in your body. It's right. called the anti-catabolic effect. Your body hasn't figured out that you're actually in a deficit, so your body surrenders fat quickly. Then all of a sudden on week three, the diet stops working. Well, you're like, like the diet stop working. Every diet stops working after three weeks. That's then when we they fall to, off. Then we have to start tweaking it. Then, then that's when the work com comes in, uh -huh. right? So people quit too early. I like it. <laughs> okay, dropping knowledge bombs out here. Are we gonna keep going off or what? Was, yeah. We're just getting started. <laughs> yeah. We're just getting started. So yeah, I totally agree with that. Mindset, here. man. I know you guys yeah. are looking for the tactics. The cat. You guys are on YouTube. The tactics are free, guys. You guys can figure out the tactics. Yeah. You guys got to get it. You guys gotta put some skin in the game. Then you guys are, you guys a little skin in the game. You guys want, I don't need a online coach, what's he gonna tell me? He's gonna probably tell you stuff that you do already know, but you need to put some money down. Accountability. So that you get some accountability, so you actually follow the advice and you hit your check-in, so that you make that progress week after week. So in 16 weeks, you end up with your best body ever. You guys got no skin in the game, and if there's no skin in the game, there's no game. I, I, I agree, I agree. I'll take, down, I'll take it down. I'll take it down. I think we're a little. I, I can tell they're not. Yeah, they're a little bored right now. You know, you need. We need a. I think we need to break it up. A little too bit. intense. These guys are. You know, sorry. Right, we're making sure that they're paying attention. For sure. For adherence is what I always tell you guys. Adherence. Adherence. Sticking to it for long enough to actually see the results. Not just those first couple weeks. Where you're like, oh, this is amazing. People, my clients, will tell me, oh, I lost three pounds in a week. This is working amazing. It's like, no, no, no. Relax. I always got to warm people. Relax, you know. Yeah, relax, man. We're just starting, yeah. Right, get prepared yeah. for what's to come. Get prepared for that skill to go up sometimes. You'd be like, what happened? Yeah. You know, yeah. be prepared for it. So moving on to question number two. People always tell me, for example, they always say, you know, I know it's 80% diet. How do I lose weight? I know it's 80% diet and 20% working out. How do you feel about quantifying it like that? Would you say it's 80 20 or? I don't see the point. Right. I don't know why you okay. need to quantify it. You know, for, for me, I get it. Sure, it's fun. I definitely will say that uh, the leaner you get, the more nutrition becomes a factor. Right, right. Uh, but I actually find that it's training first, nutrition second. Okay. And that's because nobody is burning the food they're putting in their body. Right. Okay. Right. Let's look at carbohydrates. You have to earn your carbohydrates. Right. All right. Right. Carbohydrates are gasoline. Do you need to put gasoline in the car if the tank is already full? If you're not driving it. Right. Either. If you're not driving the car hard. Right. If you're not driving it, and if you're not driving the car hard, why do you even eat carbs? Right. And, and it's not because I'm anti carbs. I love carbs. I'm Italian. Guys, I love carbohydrates. Carbs all the way. But if you're sitting on your ass all day, you're working at a desk all day, you're driving all day, why do you need carbs? So you have to earn your fuel sources, all right? So I definitely feel the leaner you get, the more important that nutrition becomes to go say from 10% body fat down to 6% body fat, it's what's happening in the kitchen. 100%. Anybody who's competed, who's got on stage, no one's gonna disagree with that. Even 12% body fat down to 6% body fat. Yep. That's all a brain game. That's all what's going up here and what's going on in the kitchen. Right, right. All right? Uh, but like for totality of like building muscle mass, um, skull yes. getting awesome, body it's getting necessary. strong, that's all yeah. training. That has to be. Right? Because I know a lot of guys, their nutrition is perfect, but they look average, or they right. you know, it doesn't even look like they've been in a gym. They're super healthy, which is great. Let's go health. But it's because they're not 
stimulating their muscles enough, there's no volume, there's no frequency, there's no intensity, pushing. there's no organization of the different hypertrophy variables. Hypertrophy yeah, yeah. is just a fancy word of saying muscle building Yay. variables. Right? So that they're not doing it, they're not hitting any of the mechanisms of muscle growth yep. for their body to need all the protein, for their body to need all those fats, for their body to need all those carbs. So it always is training first, nutrition second when it comes to size, strength, and just building a bigger body. And then when they uh, when it comes to getting shredded, that's when the nutrition, I would say, gets closer to that 90 plus percent. Starts taking over. Yeah, because at that point your training is more in maintenance mode. You're going to the gym, but you're not at, you're training hard, but you're such a low uh, energy intake. Right. You're right. just using the weights in the gym to stimulate muscle mass and tell your brain to hang on to the muscle. Right, right, right. That's that's super interesting. I bet you guys haven't heard that one before. Uh, and it makes total sense because we focus on fat loss here, right? And I always say, you know, if you want to lose fat, it's more efficient to just diet because you don't have to go to the gym, you don't have to work out, you don't have to... But then again, if you only lose fat and you lose weight and you don't build any muscle, you're not going to look the way you want to look. You're going to have to build muscle at some point. So the goal is to keep the fat off. So yeah. how do you keep the fat off? You build a bigger engine. Right, you need a bigger, you guys can't keep the fat off because you got a small engine. How do you build a bigger engine? You get big like this guy, you put some size on, you build the shoulders, the upper pecs, you add some size to your legs. So right. that when you go on these trips and you're lying by the pool, your metabolism is cranking. So when you go to the restaurant, you can have the duck fat fries. You can, yeah. you can have the chocolate tour, you know. Oh, uh, and you, can, you can have some extra calories and your body actually needs them. All right, so you've got to go to the root problem. That's why mom and dad, that's why, you know, brother, sister, that's why you, everybody needs to focus on the mindset of a bodybuilder. Everyone's like, I'm not a bodybuilder. Yes, you are. Anyone that wants to build muscle and lose True. fat is a bodybuilder. True. How much is up to you. But you have to get in a bodybuilding mode, build some muscle mass, even if it's a couple pounds a year, that's what's going to keep you lean and mean for the rest of your life. And looking great. I yeah. love it. No, I totally agree with that. Uh, that's definitely a new perspective to bring to my audience, and it's a great one because I always, obviously, I train and I, I show them how I train, and it's not, it, it's got to be just that you got to focus on it just as much. That's why I don't like quantifying. I don't like saying 80% because then people think they can slack on the working out. Yeah, right. 80% 80 diet, 20% working out. No, it's just. It's 100% of both, that's what I always say, <laughs> you know? You can't have one without the other and expect great results. So, uh, you know, uh, somebody wants to be rich, they come to me and they say they want to be rich, well listen, you're gonna work seven hours a week to be rich. People think they can work out one hour a day, seven times a day, uh, a week. Yeah. How are you gonna be, is any millionaire doing that? Someone tells me that they're probably working more like 16 hours. So what are you doing the other hours when you're not working out? That's what's gonna matter too, right? What would be three main specific habits you think people need to focus on in order to get to their fitness goals? Like for example, I would get a lot of my clients, all my clients, to weigh themselves often because I think it would be, you need data, sure. right? So what would be three specific habits in that sense? I agree with that one. Yeah, you, uh, what gets measured gets managed uh -huh. by a famous uh, business coach named Peter Drucker. <laughs> and I'll add something to that. What yeah. gets measured gets managed, and what gets managed gets multiplied. Uh, okay, so what do I mean by that? Have you ever got lean and were shredded and you weren't able to do it again? Or like struggled to do it again? You're like, man, I got ripped for that show, and then you're trying I to get, get it ripped for show. And then you didn't, you didn't make any notes, you know? Oh, you're yeah. Like, How did I get so shredded for that last show? I'm like, crap, I didn't even track anything. How much cardio was I doing in the end? What were my macros in the end? And then you can't yeah. repeat it. So what gets measured gets managed, and what gets managed can get multiplied, which means is now you take control of your life. This is excellent for people that want to uh, maybe have a lifestyle that kind of goes up and down. Hey, it is what it is. In the, in the winter time, I like to gain some weight. You know, I like to have wine and cheese every Saturday night with my wife. Nice. We go to the movies. I love popcorn. So I let my weight go up a bit in the in the winter times. Yeah, yeah. Because I like my life. All right, I love food. All right, so. But you know what to do because you exactly, just go back to because the Because I've done it for 15 years, yep. I'm not worried. Right. I'm not right. worried. I know exactly what to do. Getting getting ripped is old news for me. It says if, if I want to be shredded in 30 days, I know exactly what to do yep. because I've done it countless times. Right. 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 So when people are like, Vinny, are you not worried about having a third dessert right now? Yeah, whatever. 
I can, if I want to get rid of it, I'll get rid of it. It's not my goal right now. I know exactly what to do. So anyway, you right? guys, I, I'm fully on board with that point right there. Cool. I'm, I'm really big on training. My, my thing is like, I wouldn't consider myself a nutrition expert. Whatever I try to teach nutrition on YouTube, that's when the haters come out. Uh, maybe I'm not, a, you know, and I've come to accept that I'm not a nutrition expert. I know a lot about nutrition. What I'm best at is yeah. writing programs. Okay. If you bought any Vince Del Monte workout program, I challenge you to find one that has been more skillfully designed in an organized fashion. Oh, okay, nice. So my background is program design. Charles Poliquin, uh -huh. King, you know, I, I, went, I went to school, I learned from these guys. I spent yeah. a lot of money learning how to write a workout program. Okay. Uh, how to organize the variables. So I'm huge on changing up your workout program every four weeks. Okay. All right. Okay. So just to keep it really simple. And every month has a different theme. All right. So maybe this month's a frequency month. Where we focus on training more often. Next month is a volume month. The week month after is a density month. The month right. after is an intensity month. We're trying to get stronger. So I'm really big on organizing these variables yep. so that your body doesn't adapt. And for practical reasons, have something to look forward to. You guys want to, if you want to be, I'm 38. Right, I've been right. doing this since I was 22. Um, I only started lifting when I was 22. You guys are crazy. You think you can learn Bodybuilding.com, no? Oh my yeah. God. You're killing yourself, guys. You're killing yourself. No, don't, don't get me wrong. Those are, I started there. Right, right, right. Some education is better than no education. Um, hey, we all have to learn through mistakes, trial and error. I get it. I'm not knocking any of that. But what I'm saying is, if you really want to take it to the next level, you got to get into class. Yeah, you've yeah, got to yeah. put the time in. Right? Get in the game, you got yeah, to get on the, the field. You right? trend the, it's like role play, right? You don't get good at it until you actually do those, you know, you got to put those reps in time under yeah. tension, right guys? Time under tension, right? It's one thing to know about putting the reps in, it's another thing to actually put the reps in. So um, those point. would be my three things. I, my big thing is like, if you only remember one thing, longevity. longevity. I, I don't care how you look in your 20s. How can't you look good in your 20s? What else yeah. do you have to do? Yeah. You're single, you want to look good for girls, you're going out in the evening times with your buddies, you better look good in your 20s. I want to see what happens when you have a kid, a second kid, you get married. You're that's right? what so I'm you start, Now you have to start, it can, it can. It can. I mean, that's, uh, what, no, that's, what, that's what the M5 brand is all about, not okay. letting all that crumble. Yes. Right? Maximizing all five M's of man, but it can nice. crumble. And it's challenging, it's tough. I get it, it's tough. But if you build these habits in early, when you're this guy's age, when you guys are young, yeah. Then, when you have the family, then your workouts don't suffer. You know how to eat. You can lead your family, and that's when you have the great life. So, right it all on. starts getting like your shit in order, if you don't mind me swearing. Oh. Now, at Fuck. an early age. <laughs> right on, man. Yeah, no, those are, that, that's huge, actually. That's, that's what I always say, too. That's the reason, like, for example, I'll never take steroids. Because steroids is a short-term game, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. It's I like renting a Lamborghini. Right. Why? What car did you mind if I? Uh, what, what car do you drive right now? I have a Super WRX. Okay, it's a nice car. Yeah. Well, imagine I let you, uh, you know, borrow my Lamborghini. You got a Lambo. No. Ah. <laughs> well, imagine I let I you. Yeah. Super you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Imagine yeah, yeah. I let you borrow my Lambo. Okay. Or gave you rented a Lambo for a couple weeks. What's, yeah. What's gonna happen when you get the Lambo? Oh, I'm gonna get stolen. But the what's good? What you know? Are you gonna turn some heads, maybe? Oh, for sure. Are you single? Yeah. Okay. And you think you're gonna grab some attention? For sure. All right. That's why. Do you think guys. you're gonna be able to go back in the Subaru? Hell no. <laughs> uh, that's what happens when you go on steroids. Yeah. You, you think? Yeah. You, that's what. Well, people are like, oh, I get it. But it's a good analogy. No, it's it good, is. Because you're you're renting your body. You're renting the car. I rented Lambos. It's hard to bring it back. Even oh, though you're paying a lot of money man. per day, you're paying two thousand dollars a day to rent the Lambo. So it's, you did rent one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's hard cool. to rent the Lambo and then bring it back and then go back in your Acura RSX. Great car. Great car. Great car. Super great car. I'm just saying though, when it's you go, not a Lambo. As soon as you get, <laughs> as soon as you take the roids, you're done. I agree. Done. I the agree. only time the guys want to come off is now when their health is like literally being compromised yep. and they maybe want to have kids. I know too late. You guys are listening to kids, man. You guys got to listen to the guys in their 30s who are now starting to start, they're trying to start families. They're done with bodybuilding. Bodybuilding is long gone, all right? They're all telling you, don't, don't do it. I wish I didn't do it, I'm, right? I'm now talking to the guys that are in their 30s. They can't have a kid. Right? They blew their testes up. They didn't do the stuff. But I don't know anything about it, but they're, they're having a hard time. Now they're going to fertile clinics, whatever you call them. They're trying to get the wife pregnant. That's causing stress in the marriage. Yeah. You guys are thinking yeah. long term. You're so stuck in the now. You go, we get big now. Yeah, All right, yeah, well, yeah. you can get big now, but there's going to be a price. 
Yeah, yeah. You can pay a or, price. Or they want to lose fat and now, but... You guys aren't playing out, they're not playing out these scenarios long enough. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to make, make them feel a bit of pain, because guess what happens? Then you can't have a baby, then there's tension in the relationship. Next thing you know, that falls apart. Next thing you know, you're you're in your 30s and you're single. And you're now you're back on freaking Tinder. Swiping, <laughs> swiping, trying to get something going again. What the hell happened? Where, how did I get here? Yeah. Well, you made a decision early on in your life to go for the, the now, now, and now you're paying the price later. Uh -huh. There's always a price to pay, guys. The question is, are you gonna pay now, or are you gonna pay later? Follow this guy, man. You gotta follow the 12 free guys. You gotta, guy. you gotta support the guys on YouTube. Jeff Nippert and Jeff yes. Cavalier, the yes. guys who've been doing it. Uh, there's a lot of other guys out there, Christian Guzman and Mark Fitt. I don't know, I don't know all these guys' personal histories or anything, but yeah. there are a lot of great guys. Greg O'Gallagher, I know he's natural, he's from Toronto too. There are a lot of guys who are, I'm telling you right now, you go the Roy route, you'll kill your right. business. Um, and you'll, you're gonna look good. I mean, you know, guys, they kind of, you know, they do the low But a lot of people don't even look good on them. That's the problem. A lot, no, a lot of people like to them. Oh, yeah, dude, man. I mean, because I'm, I'm, I'm friends with a lot of professional bodybuilders. Uh -huh. A lot of these guys, these young kids, they take literally pro stacks. Yeah, they yeah. take just as much as the pros, and because they train like shit, they don't know how to train properly. You would never even guess. No, don't get me wrong, they're bigger than the average dude, but it's so short lived. If you guys can, and I'll tell you right now, like in natural, this like physique is attainable. Like, your physique is attainable, 100%. and this is what girls like. I was out and we were down by the pool, I saw you taking pictures of girls were looking at you. <laughs> I'm like, you know, what else, how much bigger do you want to get? Right, right, right. You gotta right. keep it natural. You gotta make it look like attainable. You know, uh, you don't want the pimples. You know, you guys gotta, you don't want the pimples. You know, you don't want to start walking from side to side. It doesn't look good. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, you gotta be, I'm trying to sell you back to come into the, the natty the side. Back, get away from the dark side, man. The good, the good right? side always wins. <laughs> it is, it is, right? It is. The dark side might look cooler at first, but in the end they lose. So. Yeah, it's, it's, Short lived, guys. It's not worth it. Nice. It's like renting Lambos every weekend. Yeah, damn. I'm never. I was actually thinking, like, oh, maybe one day I'll rent a Lambo. Now that you put that in my head, there's like no way I'm renting you know, maybe, one. I'll buy one. Maybe, maybe go on. Yeah, it. maybe go to like something not as much of a leap. But after yeah. that, where are you gonna go? You know what I mean? It's like going right to the pro stack. Bugatti, Bugatti. <laughs> yeah, maybe just go, what's, what's one up for the Subaru? Maybe just make, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, exactly. I was thinking like an Audi next to yeah, there you go. Lexus. There you yeah. go, yeah, go to the Audi next. Yeah, Audi but we understand fun. this thing because of, of, of the fitness game. The fitness game teaches you a lot of things yeah. that pertain uh, to the It's all giving you guys life advice. Yeah. You come for fitness, but you're going to stay for the life. And the motivation. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So don't rent Lambos. It's going to be the title of the, of the video. Yeah, and I think be the most quick can one, afford right? it. Greg Gallagher can afford it. You yeah. know, he can afford it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, if you can afford it, you know, it's a one thing, you know. Um, so yeah. Cool, man. Cool. I love it. I love it. So some motivation for you guys around the morning. Motivation. Oh, here's, for me. here's a good quote. Here's oh, a good one from, from the GC Corp. Corp. Uh, yeah. So we're at a big. Uh, this is a guy we're learning from. And his name is Grant Cardone. Look him up. He's he's killer, man. He's huge. Uh, so he's got a shirt. And it says, uh, "You can rent a Lambo, but you can't rent a jet." Yeah, yeah. Let's say that again. You can rent a Lambo, but you can't rent a jet. He's got a private jet, so it's like, yeah, you think you're hot. You but, think you're hot, <laughs> but trust me, you're not. You're not hot until you got the jet. Yeah, yeah. And I'm nowhere near that. <laughs> right, right, right. But hey, it's good. Over great. time. Over goals. Time. Hashtag goals. Right on, right on. I love it, man. That's that's great. That's great. Uh, so yeah. Big takeaway right there. And by the way, the steroids thing can work for women as well. Women jumping on steroids oh, is man. hilarious. Like, what, what, what are you doing? But uh, moving on to the next one. So you mentioned keto for a bit. We only got two more questions. So what are your thoughts on keto as an approach for, let's say, somebody who wants to, I'm looking to lose fat, so I'm just going to go on keto kind of thing. Or, or they want to gain muscle. Sure. I think I know you yeah, understand yeah. to be here. They want to gain muscle, but they want to stay lean. You know, so, I'm, I'm so much more open-minded now about nutrition than I was years ago. Uh -huh. uh, I used to be really like have to pick a side. Yeah, you know, I used yeah. to really jab at uh, you know plant-based eating. I used to oh, jab okay. at intermittent fasting. I did jab at keto, but uh, I'll be the I'm first swinging too. at keto. It's okay. You know what? I, I didn't have any personal experience from it. I oh, looked at it from okay. the outside, and okay. I looked at it from a could I sustain that myself? I've done keto. I've done right, it. So I, I think I was telling you, I'm a big. I'm personally for lifestyle, for maintenance, oh, yeah. for staying lean. I'm a huge fan of keto oh, and okay. intermittent fasting now. Oh, okay. But I'm aware that when I'm doing it. 
I'm not trying to get huge. Um, I just don't really take as hard of a stance on nutrition as I used to, maybe yeah. because you were saying. my business wasn't driven by having to take a stance right. and you know be a little more controversial to keep people's attention and keep the views. Right. Uh, I really am, you know, I've got the non-sexy answer. You've got to figure out what works for you. And I look at all these different dietary approaches as tools, tools. right? And they're just tools in your toolbox. Who said you need one tool to build a house? Who said you could build a house with just one tool? So, I mean, I actually practice something, and it's in one of my programs, 30-Day Metabolic Reboot, okay. and it's called Ketogenic Intermittent Fasting. Uh, so you do two, combine the two. Yeah, so you do an 18-hour fast, and then you have two keto meals at 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. Then you fast from 3 p.m. Uh, back to 6 a.m. Or did I 6 a.m.? No, what's that? What would be six hours? So six a.m. Uh, 9 p.m. and 3 p.m. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 9 yeah. and 3, right? That's yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, so let me just get this clear for you guys. You have a keto meal at 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. Then you fast 18 hours, all right? And you do that for 10 days. And whatever I want to lose fat quickly, you'll get tricked. It, fat very quickly, yeah, yeah. you feel incredible, you lose a lot of inflammation in your body, you tighten up, and that's what I do when I want to get ready for a photo shoot. Oh, okay. And um, I will tell you though, like, because I love carbohydrates, uh, I wouldn't do keto long term. Long term, yeah. But whenever Is I it eat, sustainable long term, you think? I think for some people. I know I, I know people. Would you say a smaller percentage? Definitely a smaller yeah. percentage. Like my good buddy, Brandon Carter, he's huge on keto. Right, and, yeah. you know, uh, but he's also got like the eye of the tiger, like yeah. his willpower, his discipline. He like, also kind of has the genetics. He's got, yeah, yeah. So, so there's like, again, <laughs> so clarity, back on keto, clarity man. requires context. Yeah. Right, have you done it? I've done it, but you know what happens to me? I'm like you, right? We need the carbs. Oh, I swear to God, I will get sucked up in yeah. two days. I'll look like I've never lifted a weight in my life. Okay. No carbs. Like my carbs are always extremely high. Yeah. Because I, I do a lot of cardio too, but if my body reacts to carbs, this is something I figured out. Again, you know, you gotta find what works for you. But my body reacts. Okay. Go. If you want to experiment with these different nutrition protocols, you just have to give it enough time. You can't come to a conclusion after three days. Right. Even a month. Right? Give it a few months. Say, hey, I'm gonna go on keto for three months and see what happens. Like, take a journal, make notes. The most important scientific experiment is the one that you conduct on yourself. You guys are getting lost in the weeds. And don't get me wrong, there's a lot of super smart science guys out there, I get it. Yep. Some guys think they like to get into the academics, and that's awesome. But, at the end of the day, we have to extract what's applicable into actionable advice and see how it actually can implement into your life and become something that serves you. So experiment with it, you know? For me, I fast a lot these days. The science is very clear that it's the only way to increase your lifespan. The less food you eat, the longer you live. Because it's, it's not working, your body's not working. Your body's not working, it's not yeah, expending yeah, as much energy. The only thing that has been proven to increase lifespan is eating less food, all right? So, I did not know this. Well, you don't stress your organs, yeah, right? No, it, it makes sense. So, Logically thinking, so, it makes sense. Um, again, there's a scientist guy here I was actually just talking to, and he's got an HRT clinic, and like, they are huge on fasting. My dad's on it, he's 63. It's the only thing that's helped him. Oh. And because you just get those time restricted windows, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Even if it's just like something like, uh, I had, this is what I got my dad doing. He hasn't been able to lose weight for like 40 years. Me and my brother said, Dad, why don't you just start fasting? And we have him eat from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Oh, okay. Super simple. Oh, All right, oh, just 12 hour window. I said, yeah. just restrict your food in the 12, 12. So it's called time restricted eating. That's reasonable eating. too. Time restricted eating, yeah. yeah. So just, okay, he's like, that, that one thing. That's true. Like he's losing weight, his jawline's coming out, his energy's better. And uh, he's like, he was hungry at first because it was a new habit, but now, um, you know, there's so much stuff, it kills a lot of bad cells in your body. I don't mean, I'm not a scientist, I'm not gonna right. pretend I know all the science. Careful before the haters start coming out, right? Yeah, that's fine, <laughs> I'm fine. I, I control the narrative now. Yeah. I, I, I know what you're gonna say before you can say it, so. <laughs> that's the key, I think you should try different protocols and then just treat them as tools to support the training phase you're in. So if you're trying to build muscle mass, you need to support your workouts with some carbs, but if you're, not, if you're training like a pansy, you know, it might not even need that many carbs. Some guys can 
build muscle or sort of make, they say they make gains on keto, but they're maybe not training hard, they're losing some fat, and it looks and like they're getting like bigger. Yeah, because yeah, the yeah. leaner you get, the bigger you look. Yeah. Right? So you're like, oh, so and so's building muscle on keto. So and so's building muscle on intermittent fasting. Well, no, maybe they're beginners too. No, no, no. no what, what, what actually happened is the dude lost 10 pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So his waistline's come in, his shoulders look bigger, he gets a pump, his arms look twice the size, it looks like he's got bigger. All right, when you get leaner, you look you bigger. Look better and bigger. Right? You look bigger and better. So he hasn't got bigger, he's got leaner, which makes it look like it's created an illusion. Like he's built muscle under exactly. there. Exactly, right, the muscle's right, right. just starting to show. Right, right, right. <laughs> I know this sounds basic, I'm sure so many of your listeners have already heard this, but for me, until somebody really started like hammering it no, into me, I didn't, I didn't get it. There's a lot of information I haven't covered in, in here, that uh, okay, so many topics that I can definitely dive into, so this is great. Um, you know, guys, comment below. Let me know what you think. Having the man Vince Del Monte on here. Share this video with all your friends. Yes, Tag sir. people. Yes, Show sir. us that you're alive, that you've got a heart rate, that your blood is pumping. You guys got to get engaged in the conversation. You can't just sit there and listen. You guys got to take action. Yes. All right. So comment, share. All right, and subscribe to this guy's channel. I'll do the Likewise. selling for you, bro. <laughs> right on, right on. That's why I brought you here. <laughs> no, just kidding. So cool. So check it out. We got one last thing. So two things here is uh, one, what do you think, how do you think fitness has helped you in other aspects of your life? For example, business. Again, we're here on business in that sense. Fitness has changed my life. I mean, my new brand is called M5. M5, check it out. It stands for the five M's of manhood. Muscle, mindset, okay. money, mission, Marriage, so just the kind I like of one and three in. muscle and money, but but <laughs> no, know, the others are important. Two, three, two, three, four, and five didn't come until I built the muscle, right? So, okay. muscle, muscle was a stepping stone. You asked me how did muscle come first, happen? yes, okay, because it's the easiest. Okay, do you how many of you guys know a big bodybuilder who's like big and shredded, but he can't put a sentence together, insecure, he even. can't close a deal, okay, he still has low self esteem, yeah, so the muscle grows faster than the mind. Yes. Right, so okay. we develop the muscle. Like muscle is the hardest. Sorry, muscle is the easiest thing to develop. If you can't build your body, you can't build your mind. You're not going to be able to make any money. You're not going to be able to leave a career and move to your calling to achieve your mission. And you're not going to be able to lead a woman. All right. If you can't lead yourself in the gym, if you can't lead yourself in the kitchen, you're not going to be able to lead a woman, and you're not going to be able to lead a family. That's why marriage comes last. But muscle transformed my life. Muscle's been yeah. a silver bullet for me. Right. It's got it's got me everything that I've wanted in my life, and that's why you know people follow my work because uh, you know sure I look all right, but I don't have the biggest best physique. Right. But I think people have noticed what muscle's done for my life more and than that's more, more than the superficial aspect. Yeah, which is the actually the part that matters the least. You would agree. Sure. If building the muscle doesn't actually, it's not the muscle itself. Because you do it quickly, right? It, yeah. it, it, how long does it take to build a great physique? One to four years. Right. And then unless you want to get to those upper echelons of like the biggest dudes, yeah. Uh, you know, you can make those consistent gains over the years and get bigger. But once you've got a good body, you got a good body. It's yeah. not, it gets old quickly. Yeah. Unless yeah. you're a coach, unless you're teaching this as a living. But like for our people that follow us. I mean, if you can't get your dream body within one to four years tops, what the hell are you doing? You're not doing what sure. we're telling you. True, sure. true. Sure. That's when you gotta put the money down and then actually hire the coach. You got the free work, the free videos aren't working for you anymore. Oh <laughs> man, I'm, I'm totally on board with this. So muscle, same thing with me. It, it's part of the reason why, you know, people be like, you know, you seem so extroverted. I'm actually, I was always an introvert, but I eventually built the confidence after the muscle and after yeah. accepting the fact that muscle doesn't really mean much besides the fact that it'll show you you can accomplish something. Yeah. And that will then trigger, wait a second, I can accomplish you know, you this. Know, I saw you taking the photo, I'm like, who's that? You know, yeah. you, you, it, it makes people wonder, who's that? What muscle can do for you is you can open up doors. True, true. Right? Now when you get in the door, it's your job to make the deal happen, but people will look at you differently. Like one of my great friends is Ben Mikulski, and you know, yeah. he's a pro bodybuilder, so I've been in and out. Like, the way people treat him, like he, he'll get upgraded in the airport just because of the dudes like he, like he just gets attention. He gets special treatment. Right, right. Big dudes, like people. Are, wow, it's like a spectacle. It's like a, yeah. you know, like oh my gosh, I get it. You know, muscle like. And he is a big test, dude. That's you for know, sure. like wow, look at this man, like he's huge. But then the question is, is, what do you do with the muscle? Yeah. Right. Okay. Perfect. And last thing, one piece of advice, even though you've given a million. 
best piece of advice. Yeah, I thought this was going to be a five minute, but you know, I, you know I have to give the gap, right? <laughs> what do you mean? I have to give the gap. Okay. I talk a lot. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Hey, man. That's the same with me. I have to an interview. I'm like, it's not going to be short. Bro, I have to cut half my videos out because I'm talking too much. So. Okay. <laughs> We're not cutting this one though. If this you guys are finding this video too long or too boring, maybe it's because you're too boring. You gotta come to life. I like We're this. saying good stuff right now. I like this. This is good content, guys. This is valuable. I'm, I'm so happy to have it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, so you wanna, you wanna crush the workout now? Yeah, sure. I'm good, man. Just do it. All right, we're gonna crush the workout. I mean, you've been watching the workout in this time, but so that's it, everyone. Like he said earlier, like, comment, share with your friends, subscribe, you know? Again, this is John Mango, Beyond the Iron, looking to take your fitness, nutrition further, so you may change your life forever. My man, thank you so much for coming yeah, out here, brother, yeah. and uh, we'll talk soon, eh? All right, see you guys, thank you for your time. Take care.